afternoon. The Turks and Caicos Islands is a British overseas territory located in the North Atlantic Ocean, and it is approximately 575 miles southeast of Miami, Florida, and southeast of the Bahamas. It is an archipelago of 40 islands and keys, only eight of which are inhabited. We have a population of approximately 46,000. The TCI economy has grown significantly since 1966, when its extremely small population was dependent on the salt industry, which was the primary driver of its economic development. Fast forward to current day TCI, nearly half million tourists flock to the shores of our beautiful by nature islands, making it one of the most sought after holiday vacation destinations of the world. Our dynamic tourism industry has created a sev severe shortage of labor among the local population to respond to the growing demand of respective sectors. Hence, we have grown dependent on migrant labor to mitigate skill shortages which are limited or non-existent within our local labor supply with persons from abroad. The TCI government was therefore deliberate in its strategy to build human cap capacity of its local population through the TVET department at the Turks and Caicos Islands Community College. The introduction of the Tuition Free Access Initiative affords natives of, natives of the Turks and Caicos Islands and all British overseas territory citizens an opportunity to enroll in TBAT courses and programs at no cost. In response to the government's mandate, the TCI Community College introduced the TBAT PLAR initiative. My Dean of TBAT, Mr. Kevin Baxter, will tell you a little bit about that initiative. Thank you, Doc. So in response to the skills shortage, we decided to focus on two uh, sectors, the hospitality sector and the general construction sector. We have built out within these sectors skill areas, and these skill areas are customer service, food and beverage services, commercial food preparation, and electrical installation. And this is the layout of the Turks and Caicos Islands. If you notice, it's color coded. But this within itself presents a challenge to dispense education and TVET across the entire country. Within Providenciales, we have persons situated. Within North Caicos, persons are also situated and the Grand Turk. And so no, there's no one landmass. So to travel from Providenciales to North Caicos, it is not connected by land. You have to sail or fly if you are so gifted. And if you have to travel from, from Providencialis to Grand Turk, you have to fly or you have to sail. So it presents a challenge. So how do we as a ministry, how do we as a college respond and ensure that the inhabitants, the, the citizens within these islands receive this PLAR training? And so we decided to, in our entry for the blend category, enter in the medium um, category. And it's 50-50, 50% face-to-face, 50% uh, virtual. And the, the aim is to increase access to residents in the sister islands and a reduction in air and sea travel. Now, we mentioned earlier our partnership with the Heart NSTA Trust. And it is one that is pivotal because we could not have achieved what we have without the collaboration with the Heart NSTA Trust. I thought I would hear a big clap from the heart persons in the room. Um, so we started this um, partnership in October 2021, and we were able to certify 85% in the CVQ challenge exam in February 2022. Of course, we had to adhere to all the quality assurance standards that the NCT vet has laid out. How were we able to achieve this in the various islands? We were able to invest in what are known as PTZ cameras, point tilt zoom. These cameras enabled us 
and the NCT event to have pretty much a, a very close, up close personal view of what is happening in the respective training spaces. In one particular instance, we had training going on concurrently in three islands. And so we had to ensure that the NCT event was able to see Zoom. Um, it is, we're talking about 4K, 8K even. These cameras are artificially um, intelligent enabled. They, as you can see, are able to ensure that you have a whole panoramic view of the lab space. And so time-based auto scan, remote auto camera control, zoom capabilities. I'm happy to see one of the assessors here. I, I know I will not be you know, compromising my judging, but he was able to feel the, the, the practical um, activity that was, that was happening even though he was uh, situated here in Jamaica. The guiding theory we utilized was the framework of complex adaptive blended learning systems, KBLS, where the learner is actively engaged in constructing his learning process and collaboratively um, collaborating with others to achieve learning goals. Some of the challenges, solutions, outcomes, and adoptions. The geographic makeup of our eight inhabited islands and keys were separated by water. And so in, to, to dispense education across these islands is extremely difficult. And so we have to now utilize the technology to enable the, 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 continuance, the continuance of education. Satellite sites, that's another thing that the TCICC will be embarking on. So in islands like the um, South Caicos and in North Caicos, we will be setting up satellite sites, equipping them with the technology so persons do not have to travel to the two sites where the college is currently situated, which is Provinciales and Grand Turk and they can, of course, access these courses. Some of the challenges, of course, digital literacy. Now, persons are not of faith usually with the technology, so we have to now put in interventions to combat the digital literacy, which we're doing. And of course, we are increasing access to education and training to our sister islands and addressing the national skills shortage. And of course, it will take a great investment in technology with of, um, which we are committed to. Those are our references, and that is my time. We thank you very much.